السلام عليكم الحمد لله وكفى والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما غرق بربك الكريم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا وحبيبنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا وحبيبنا ونبينا محمد وبارك وسلم سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم Alhamdulillah, we just passed Ramadan, we are in the month of Shawwal. And Prophet Ali Salatu Wasalam, he has said in one of the hadith that whoever fasts the month of Ramadan and follows it up with six days of Shawwal, then he will get the other reward as if he has fasted the entire year. So we have fasted 29 or 30 days of Ramadan. By the way, if Ramadan turns out to be 29 days, the reward that Allah Ta'ala gives is of 30 days. So it doesn't matter if it's 29 or 30. So 30 days of Ramadan plus 6 days of Shawwal. It is as if he has fasted the entire year. The concept of that is, by the way, just to talk about the fiqh of that a little bit, there is a difference of opinion amongst the fuqaha, amongst the jurists, that how to fast these six days. Some say it has to be consecutive right after Ramadan. Some say that it is any six days of Shawwal. In fact, there is one opinion that it can be six days starting from Shawwal until next Ramadan. So that, that is also an opinion that does exist. But the most common opinion is, is the middle one, that it, has, it can be six days, any six days of Shawwal. It will cover everything. So there is a principle behind it. And the principle is, Man ja'a bil hasanati falahu ashru amthaliha which is in the Quran that whoever comes with one good deed he will have ten like that this is the principle given to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran and the same principle is applied here that whoever comes with one good deed he will have ten like that so 30 days of Ramadan plus 6 days of Shawwal will make it 36 and in an Islamic calendar, it's almost 360 days. So you fast for 36 days and you will get the other of 360 days. This is the principle behind it. So first thing first, I encourage everybody here who have fasted the month of Ramadan to also make an effort and fast another six days from Shawwal. And inshallah ta'ala get the ajr from Allah ta'ala of, of fasting the entire year. But this principle then highlights one more thing. And then that this principle highlights the mercy of Allah. The rahmat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so merciful. And he is so compassionate to people like me and you. Weak people like us. That Allah Ta'ala wants, is creating the situation so that we all go to his paradise. On the day of judgment, there will be a mizan, there will be a scale. 
And on that scale, things will be weighed. Our a'mal and our aqwal will be weighed. Our actions and all those things that we speak with our tongue will be put on those scales. Both, by the way, people think that they will only be, only be a'mal. They will only be actions. They will not only be actions, but they will, they will also be aqwal. The last bar that Allah has mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari is this that the a'mal and the aqwal, the actions and the words of Banu Adam will be yuzanu, will be weighed on the day of judgment. And then he brings the hadith of subhanallah, bihamdihi, subhanallah and azim that how weighty are these words. So both of them will be weighed. There is no counter on the day of judgment. There is a scale. There will be no counting done. Things will be weighed. Actions and the words will be weighed. So there will be two sides. On one side the good actions will be put and the other, on the other side the bad actions will be put. Now for example, if there is a person who has done say 100 good deeds and 100 bad deeds in his life. Equal. But what has Allah Ta'ala said what is the principle that he has said man jaa bil hasanati falahu ashru amsaliha whoever does one good deed he will have 10 like that so if he has done 100 good deeds and 100 bad deeds allah ta'ala will put on the scale as if he has done 100 into 10 and allah ta'ala will outweigh his good side of the scale as compared to the bad side of the scale and allah ta'ala will put him into paradise this principle highlights the mercy of Allah, the rahmat of Allah Ta'ala. But there is more to it. As I said that it is about weight. It is not about the numbers. It is also a possibility that there are two people who have the same number. First thing first will be multiplied by 10 but there are other multiplying factors to it as well. It's not only number, number multiplied by 10, but there are other multiplication factors as well. There are some months, some days, some places where there is another multiplication factor. And that also is a high, highlight of the mercy of Allah. In Ramadan, everything is multiplied by 70, another 70. If you go to Masjid al-Haram and pray there, the multipli multiplication factor is another 100,000. Any good deed, multiply by 10, multiply by 100,000, or say multiply by 100,000, whatever. In Masjid Nabwi, there are two riwayat. One is that the multiplication factor is 50,000. One is that it is 1,000. These things are highlighting the mercy of Allah. And there is another multiplication factor. And that multiplication factor is our sincerity, our ikhlas. How sincere were we when we did that act? So it is also a possibility that I pray two rakahs here and you pray two rakahs here. But if you are more sincere than me, then those two rakahs of yours will be weightier than my two rakahs. That is also a multiplication factor. But Allah Ta'ala is giving us a multiplication factor for our good deeds. And Allah Ta'ala is not putting any multiplication factor in our bad deeds. And People they question, you know, how come people are, will end up in the hellfire? Believe me that these people who will enter into the hellfire will be the really, they will be the rebellious people to Allah. If anybody makes any effort for the sake of Allah Ta'ala, Allah Ta'ala is ready to forgive our shortcomings. Allah Ta'ala is ready to ignore our, our weaknesses, our slippages, the wrongs that we might do. And Allah Ta'ala is ready to put us into paradise. These are the things that highlight that how merciful is Allah Ta'ala. But if there is a person who is really rebellious to Allah, who doesn't even care as to what Allah Ta'ala has said, of course that his rebelliousness only deserves that he be entered into the hellfire. And may Allah protect all of us from that state. So please, all what we need to do is to wake up a little bit. Just to Take Allah Ta'ala as our Rabb and make a little bit of effort, little bit of effort to do what He has commanded and to stay away from what He has prohibited. That's all what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wants from us. 
Allah Ta'ala has said pray five times a day, we pray five times a day. Ideally for men they should come to the masjid or a musalla and pray with the congregation, with the jama'at. We just passed Ramadan, Allah Ta'ala wanted that we fast the 30 days of Ramadan. There is zakat that is wajib on many of us who are sahib al nisab who have more than a certain threshold. Allah Ta'ala wants <coughs> that we give that zakat to the poor and the needy. Allah Ta'ala has said that we go at least once in our lifetime to do hajj of the house of Allah. Whoever can afford, Allah Ta'ala wants that. Very few fara'id. And Allah Ta'ala wants that these obligations we all must do. But not only stick there, but rather do more than that. And it is not only about ibadat, about our worship. Allah Ta'ala wants that we have this clean heart, loving heart, caring heart, caring for others. Don't become selfish, but rather go out of the way to go and help others. Help the poor, help the needy, take care of the orphans and the widows and the sick. These are little things, but these things are also things that make us human beings. We realize that we are not Fir'aun, we are not the pharaohs on the earth. We are the Ibadullah, we are the slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are dependent absolutely on Allah. Everything that we have is coming from Allah ta'ala. This recognition and making a little bit of effort, Allah ta'ala is ready to put us into paradise. Let's not rebel against Allah. That's it. This six days of Shawwal principle is telling us don't rebel against Allah make an effort and Allah Ta'ala is ready to put you into paradise. Allah Ta'ala is ready to put all of us into paradise. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to Mi'raj and initially he was given 50 prayers. These prayers that we pray actually is a gift from Allah Ta'ala on the day of Mi'raj. On Mi'raj. Allah Ta'ala called him and gave him the gift of 50 prayers for me and you for this Ummah. And then he came, while he was coming back, he met Musa salam on the sixth heaven. And Musa salam asked him, what did you get from Allah? He said, gift of 50 prayers. He said, no, 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 it will be too much. My, prayer, my ummah was given two, they couldn't even do that. Why don't you go and ask for reduction? He went back, Allah Ta'ala reduced. Long story short, at the end, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it five. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that though I have made it from 50 to 5, but when your ummah will pray five daily prayers, they will get the reward of 50. Man ja'a bil hasanati falahu ashru amthaliha. Whoever will do one good deed, he will have 10 like that. We give in charity one dirham, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the reward as if we have spent 10 at least. At least. In fact, Allah Ta'ala says at one place in the Quran that the example of you giving in charity only for the sake of Allah is like somebody has sown a seed in the ground. And the seed, from the seed comes out a plant. And in that plant there are seven buds. And the, the, in those seven buds there are hundred seeds. What a beautiful example. You sow, you sow one seed and a plant comes out with seven buds and those seven buds had hundred seeds each. Allah Ta'ala says this is the example of you giving in charity that from one seed it became 700 seeds. Likewise your one dirham spent in the path of Allah only for the sake of Allah Ta'ala with the proper etiquettes you will have the reward as if you have spent 700 dirhams. Wallahu yuda'ifu liman yasha and then Allah Ta'ala says Allah Ta'ala can even multiply that with another number as much as he wants depends on how much sincere was I how was I how in what circumstances did I give it this is mercy of Allah people Allah Ta'ala says at a place in the Quran what has deceived you from your such a generous Lord what where are you going where are you going you're going away from Allah Allah Ta'ala says, Fafirru ila Allah. Run towards Allah. Don't go away from Allah. Ila muntahaha. Towards your Rabb is your ending, is your final destination. Where are you going? What are you doing in this dunya? What are you doing with your life? Don't waste your life. It is this life is for the preparation of that ending, of that akhirat, of that grave, of the day of judgment. 
It is easy, it's not difficult. This deen is easy, this deen is beautiful. This deen makes us human beings. This deen makes us caring, loving people. And humble people recognizing that we are nothing. All what we are, all what we have is from Allah Ta'ala and all what we are is because of Allah Ta'ala. This is what this deen teaches us, make us humble people, not arrogant people. Our wealth is from Allah, our health is from Allah, our houses, our cars, our spouses, our children, every single blessing that we have is from Allah. This is what this deen teaches us, make us humble people, loving people, caring people, selfless people. What has deceived you from your such a generous Lord? Let's all go back to Allah Ta'ala. Let's all go back to Allah Ta'ala. These ayam of Allah. Fadakr bi ayam Allah. These are the ayam of Allah Ta'ala. So Allah Ta'ala wants us to be reminded in these months of Ramadan, of Shawwal. These are also the days of Hajj. Shawwal, Zul Qa'da, and the first 10 days of Zul Hijjah are also called Ayyam al Hajj. They're the days of Hajj. People used to start their travel, their journey towards Makkah Mukarma for Hajj in these days because it took time for them. So these are also Ayyam al Hajj, very sacred days, very, very blessed days. Let's all remind ourselves of Allah in these days, inshallah ta'ala, and let's all repent to Allah, let's all go back to Allah ta'ala, let's do tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the, all the wrongs that we do and we have done and let's all start preparing for that day when Allah ta'ala will send his angels to take us back. Allah ta'ala will send his angels to take us back. Let's, let that day be a day of happiness for all of us and not a day of grief. May Allah ta'ala allow us to understand him, may Allah Ta'ala give us his ma'rifat, his knowledge and may Allah Ta'ala also give us the, the correct knowledge of his beautiful deen so that we become people of Allah, we become, we become true human beings and may Allah Ta'ala also allow us to act upon whatever he wants from us and may Allah Ta'ala be pleased with us in this dunya and especially when we go back to him. Wa